Hello, welcome back to Joel Plays. Uh, I talk a lot about streaming and streaming settings and setups and all that stuff on this channel, but a lot of people also just want to do straight recording. And I wanted to take a moment and talk about uh, recording in OBS. Uh, I'm not going to walk through a, a bunch of scene setups and all that stuff. This is mainly going to be the recording settings that I use and that work for me. Uh, you can tweak these a little bit based on your system specifications if they're not as powerful or you notice the recording is not as great. There are some settings you can turn down. I will go through those as we go. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. So of course, if you're going to do streaming in OBS, you're going to need to download OBS. I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, once you get that installed, you'll be presented with something like this. You won't have the, the camera in there, but uh, I just wanted to show my beautiful face. The best thing to do, uh, you can create separate profiles in OBS. So you can have a profile for streaming with completely different settings to a profile for recording. So I suggest you create a profile for recording. And that way, if you do want to stream, you can just switch your profile and your settings will switch over to your streaming settings. So in the top, we're going to go to profile. We're going to click new. And then I want to name this profile recording. You name it whatever you want. And then it's going to give you the auto configuration wizard. So what you want to do here is optimize for recording. I will not be streaming. Uh, if you're going to record and stream at the same time, that's a completely different set of rules and settings. So this is just for recording. So I will not be streaming. I'm going to click next. The base canvas resolution is the resolution that you're using on your monitor. So I'm currently using 1920 by 1080. If you're using a 4K monitor, you need to change this to 4K. This is not the resolution that you're recording at. This is the base resolution that you're currently viewing on your computer. Uh, FPS, you can do 60 or 30, but prefer one or the other. Uh, I'm gonna stick to 60, so I'm gonna click next. And then the testing results here, uh, I do have a NVIDIA graphics card, so it's recommending the NVENC encoder. If you have an AMD card, that's gonna be the AMF encoder. Uh, if you do not have a graphics card with any of that stuff in it, it's probably going to be uh, 264, which is your CPU. The hardware encoding just means that it's going to offload all the encoding processes to the GPU, so it frees up your CPU for other things. Uh, if you have to use the X264, then your CPU is going to be doing all of your regular processing that it does, and then putting encoding on top of that, so it can interfere with some recording. Uh, I recommend if you do have a NVIDIA graphics card or AMD card that you use hardware encoding for this. FPS 60, resolution 1080, high quality. So I'm gonna apply these settings, but we wanna go and tweak these as well. So we wanna go up, you can either go to file, settings here, or down on the bottom right, you can go to settings here. So I'll click settings here. This is just the general settings for OBS. If you wanna change your theme, has nothing to do with the recording. We're gonna skip the stream because we're not streaming, we're only recording. So go to your output. You want to make sure this is on advanced. So that way you have separate tabs for streaming, recording, audio. Uh, we're going to skip streaming. Again, we're not streaming at all. So recording type standard. The recording path is where the recording is going to be sent to. Now I like to put mine into a special location. I have an OBS recordings folder that I have set up. Now the recording format, this is pretty important. Uh, MKV. I like to use MKV because if something happens to my PC or OBS and OBS crashes, then the file is saved up to the point of the crash. Now MP4 is the file format that most people are familiar with. And the problem with that is MP4 is only saved after you stop the recording. So if you are recording and something happens, and OBS crashes, you're going to lose that recording period. Now, the problem with this is, and the trade-off is, if you're going to edit this stuff or upload it somewhere, most places use MP4. OBS has a setting called remuxing, which will take an MKV file and remux it into an MP4 file for you. So you actually have two files. You have the MP4 file and the MKV. Uh, however, again, if you want to make sure your recording is saved up to a certain point and something happens, you might want to use MKV. Uh, I use it all the time 
I have no issues with it and it works perfectly. I just remixed the MP4 so I can import that into Premiere. Audio tracks. These are the audio tracks that are going to be sent out to the recording. Uh, right now it's only set to one. So any audio source that is going to audio track one will be recorded. Everything else will not be there. I use a lot of these audio tracks so that way I can separate gameplay from the voice tracks from uh, background music or alerts, anything like that. I can route those in OBS to different audio tracks. And that way, whenever I import the track into Premiere, I actually have six audio tracks and I can uh, mute or change the volumes of things as I need to, as I'm editing. Uh, again, in order to see this, whenever you get the track, you will need to have editing software that supports multi-track audio. Uh, if you do have questions about the audio track and the audio track setup, I do have a video about multi-track audio setup in OBS. Again, I will link to that into the description or you can check it out just looking through my channel. The encoder. So here we're gonna use the NVIDIA NVNC H264 new. Uh, I told you before there may be X264 option, that is CPU encoding. If you have an AMD card, it's probably gonna say AMF uh, for their uh, encoding. And this completely changes to show you all kinds of new settings. Don't get overwhelmed, I'm gonna go through this. If you need to rescale your output, you can click this box here, or you can do that in the video here. I'll get to that in a minute. However, if you want to reserve your output, uh, then just leave this unchecked and it'll output the same resolution that you're recording in. Rate control, I actually go back between CQP and CBR. Uh, if you do lossless, you think that's gonna be the highest quality there is. The problem with lossless is it's gonna eat through your hard drive super fast. We're talking uh, gigabytes of data every minute. So if you have a huge hard drive and it's super fast, uh, then you can use lossless if you want to. CBR stands for constant bit rate. And what that means is that no matter what's happening in the game or on the recording in OBS, it's going to maintain a constant bit rate for the video. Now for bit rate settings, I'll show this graphic here. Uh, you'll see that 1080p uh, 60 frames a second is going to be around 12 megabits per second. Uh, if you're doing 4K, you're going to be eating up uh, 53 to 68 megabits per second. So a good rule of thumb here uh, I like to keep mine at 40,000 kbps, which would be 40 megabits per second. That's way higher than recommended 1080p. But again, the more information you can get into your video, the better time you'll have editing and uploading. Again, the higher the bit rate, the more hard drive space this is going to take. Now, CQP is kind of a lossless, uh, constant quality performance kind of thing. Uh, the CQ level here, the lower is better. Uh, I have used this before. Uh, again, I go back between CBR and CQP and haven't noticed a whole lot of difference between 40 megabit uh, CBR and around an 18 CQP. Again, the lower the number, the better the quality. Around 15, you start getting into the lossless quality. And again, you're going to chew through your hard drive. Uh, but I'm going to hit CBR and I'm going to use 40,000 kbps. Keyframe interval, I'm going to keep that at zero. I'm going to let the software handle that for me. Presets. Now, again, I've got a really good CPU and a really good graphics card in this machine. I'm going to hit max quality. If you are starting to have performance issues, this is one of the settings you could drop down to quality or performance. Uh, just do some tests and see what works for you. Uh, and when you're doing these tests, only change one setting at a time. So don't change your preset and your bit rate at the same time because then you have two variables and you don't know which one actually caused either the quality increase or the quality decrease. So uh, again, it's all up to you and testing and your machine uh, profile. Leave this at high. The GPU, most of this will be zero. If you have more than one GPU, that may change. However, I only have one GPU, leave it at zero. Max B frames, I recommend leaving it at two. Again, max quality, the preset here and the bit rate are probably going to be your two main things where you're going to be testing, dropping, increasing, just to see what works for you. We want to go to our audio settings and audio settings is where you make sure your microphone and your speakers are set so that OBS can pick them up. So my desktop audio is set to default. That means whatever headphones or headsets or speakers I have plugged into my PC, uh, OBS is going to use those for the desktop audio. You can have more than one device if you need to. Actually, you can have multiple devices, but you can only set two here. Uh, the mic audio is the microphone you're using. I'm using the line in port on my PC. So that's set here. On to video. 
So base canvas resolution, remember we set this on our auto configuration wizard. Uh, mine is set to 1920 by 1080 because that's the monitor I'm using. Uh, output scaled resolution. This is where you can also set OBS to scale your resolution. Again, for recording, probably not going to scale your resolution. Uh, that can be set here or in your recording tab with this checkbox here. If you are downscaling, I recommend the Lanskos 36 samples. That is the best you can get for downscaling. Uh, it won't be super blurry. A common FPS value, 60. Again, we're recording at 60 frames a second. We're gonna leave that here. Hotkeys, that's up to you. If you want to set hotkeys for recording, uh, stop recording, start recording, pause it. Uh, you can set those if you need to. Just make sure they're not hotkeys you're already using for something else because you can cause OBS to stop recording without realizing it. And the advanced tab, uh, I set my process above normal. However, I do have a two PC setup, so this machine is only uh, recording and streaming. So I want OBS to have full access to the CPU if it needs it. Color format, color space, that's up to you. Uh, most people use 709, uh, nothing wrong with that. File name formatting. So this is gonna be the four digit year, followed by the two digit month, followed by the two digit day, and then the hours, minutes, seconds. I do like to change this and I prepend the file name with show plays and an underscore. So that way I know that those are files that I recorded. We talked about the remuxing. Uh, so you can check this box to automatically remux to MP4. That means if you are recording in MKV, whenever you stop the recording, it's going to automatically remux to MP4. If you don't do that, you'll have to manually remux and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Uh, the rest of this is fine. We hit apply and then hit okay. And then we have everything set up for recording. So down here in the bottom right, you can hit start recording and then OBS will start recording for you. So I'm gonna hit start recording here and record just a short video. Uh, you'll notice down here in the bottom right, it's gonna tell you how long the recording is going how much CPU is being utilized and the frames per second that it's trying to keep as you're doing this. So the, I checked the box for auto remux recordings. So once I stop this, you'll see that it's remuxing the recording. So if I go up to file show recordings, you'll notice my file name has chill plays appended to the front of it. You'll see that I have the MKV file. And then you'll notice that I also have the MP4 file because it auto remuxed for me. Now, for some reason you forgot to check that box or you don't want to check that box, you can go up to file remux recordings. Then you can select the MKV file that you need to remux. So for instance, if I wanted to remux this again, I can click this. I can queue up a bunch of files if I need to, then I can hit remux. It'll remux and let me know that it's done. So then that'll create the MP4 file for me. And uh, that's it for these recording settings. So just keep in mind that uh, these recording settings are not, you know, there's, there's not one setting for everybody. It depends on your PC, depends on your GPU, your CPU, uh, the amount of RAM you have. If you notice that you're having encoding issues or stuttering in your video, then please go back and play with your uh, bit rate and your uh, max presets. It's just trial and error uh, to get to this point. It's not like I just opened OBS one day and just started putting stuff in and that works. Uh, this has been years and years of tweaking. Again, I told you I go back and forth between CBR and CQP. Take some time, find out what works. Uh, don't rush it. Make a lot of test recordings and just have fun with it. That's the main thing is remember to have fun. So anyway, uh, if you need links to OBS, they'll be in the bottom. If you need links to the audio routing uh, video, I'll put those down there as well. Uh, and other than that, have fun. Love you all.